Hello, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install MAME and how to add ROMs to it in this part of the tutorial. The next part, um, I'm going to show you how to install cheats and use them. Um, also, these tutorials are going to be, I'm going to make them all at once, and I'm going to break them up without saying anything, so you'll see when it ends and just go back to my profile and click the next part two. Alright. So first thing you want to do <clears throat> is you want to open up Google and go to mameaddicts.com. Aim Mame Addicts is spelled M A M E A D D I C T S dot com. You want to click downloads and right at the top it should say Mame32 my version my version here. And it's MAME 32.109. Okay, so you want to click that and you'd hit OK. And it's only 7 megabytes, so it will take approximately like 2 seconds. And you're going to want to download the cheat file. Oh, no. Oh, ugh. Look at So now you have the cheat file right here. and the main file. Now, let me close up the journals. Now, when you open up your main file, it's a zip. And it's just going to look like this. It's just an exe. It installs by it on, on its own. So you want to double click that, and it'll ask you where do you want to install it to. You press this, and you can pick where you want to install it to. Hit OK, it extracts it there. And then I p I chose mine in the documents, and you can see that it makes this main 32 note. Main32 um, folder. So when you go inside of it, it gives you all this crap. Right? Yeah. The only thing you're going to be worrying about are two things the exe to run it and the ROMs. Okay? So. First thing to get this, you do not, do not, I repeat, do not drag this off because it deletes it. Even if you copied it and pasted it, it would not, it, it would say you could not find the exe for it. Not the exe, but the uh, DLL. So, what you want to do on your desktop or wherever you want it, right click, you're going to hit new shortcut. A window should pop up asking where you want to find it to hit browse you if say if it's in your documents you go to Corey or your name my name's Corey so so you go documents main 32 go down to that exe right here hit OK next and then type in what you want it to be named and then you know it should have this icon it looks like a small little arcade machine with a blue background okay let me put that back up uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. Cheat files, okay. Alright. So now that you have that, we're gonna open up MAME. And when you open it up, you're gonna see all this crap. Right? One second. One second, I'm testing something. Yeah, it works. Huh. All right, all right, that's good. Now you're gonna get all these games, and it's gonna you're gonna be like, what the heck? You know, you're not gonna understand what they're talking about. All right, so. For you, when you click available games, available, there's not going to be anything in there because you just installed it. Right? So, to install them, you're going to go down to, you're going to Google or anywhere and you just type in romnation.net. Okay. And now it should come up with this. Now, 
if the website update updates itself, it's pretty simple to know where still where to go. All right, because I hate watching tutorials and they tell you to go to the site and they update their site and it's not the same and you don't know where the heck it is. So anywhere on the page where you see ROMs slash games or ROMs, you want to click that. And right now it is I'll tell you the date. So it is January 29th, 2008. Okay. And it should look like this. Now, um, I'll be surprised if they change this. If they change um, this setup right here. But if they do, you just have to look for Mame Arcade ROMs. Click on that. They give you all the games you could ever think of. Every single game. Now, I'm going to get one of my favorites, which is a classic, which is Donkey Kong. So we're going to click D up to the top. We're going to go down. And now it's called DK for Donkey Kong. It's not D O N K. Just so, oops, passed it. There's Donkey Kong US set one. You can get that one, but I haven't tried that one. The one that I got is actually just called DK. They must have updated it. Well, anyway, I guess you can get the Donkey Kong US set one. Before it just came up as D Kong, which which I really hated it. There's Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Um, I don't have Donkey Kong Jr. So when you click it, oh, won't let me do that one. Huh. Wouldn't maybe? Will it let me download this one? <laughs> I'm glad I downloaded it when I did. Well, I downloaded Donkey Kong and it let me, so I'm glad that I did that. So, hmm. anyway, but I'll get another one, Qbert. It's right at the top, US set one. Click download this ROM, and then it'll come up with this code. And you just simply type in the code. Uh, five, six, three, five. It comes up a code, every, a different code every time. So you hit download, hit OK. Yada yada yada. All right, now it's on your desktop. And the simple thing that I have to stress because I didn't understand it at first. But under ROMs, and you drag Qbert into the ROMs. But make sure that it's still zipped. Do not unzip it at all. Do not extract it. Do not do anything to it. Okay? One second. I gotta rename these just to see if they'll show up. Do a little bit of testing myself. Huh. Nope. Because, see, I have Donkey Kong US set one, which I guess isn't available anymore. So, now when you have that, it should come up, since I downloaded the one with every single one in it, come up with all these. Oops, I need to do that. Crap. Sort by name. There. But, um, this should get US set one is the one you want to play. Play it, and you play it. 